Hey y'all, time for our next Medical Minute. So tonight we're going to continue that discussion on insulin and how it is a growth hormone. And whenever we spike that insulin, it allows us to hold on to weight more or gain weight easier. It also increases our risk for diseases such as diabetes. So we want to make sure we're keeping those insulin levels at a really healthy range and not letting them spike up too high. How do we do that? Well, a good portion of that we learned about exercise last time. This time we're gonna talk about nutrition. And in a very small nutshell, carbohydrates spike it the most. So that's because carbohydrates break down into sugar and our body needs the insulin to bring that sugar back down so our insulin spikes. Therefore, we hold on to weight more the more insulin our body produces, the more growth signals our body's being given. The other foods that spike it are proteins. And those actually are low on the glycemic index, so it does it in a different way, but it does still nonetheless increase our spike, our insulin levels. Foods that are pretty safe on the insulin, on spiking your insulin and that they don't spike our insulin very much are vegetables and pure fats. So uh, like olive oil, those kind of things, when eaten by itself, which we don't do very often. So it's more of an FYI. There are some dietary plans that do uh, incorporate like a scoop of uh, coconut oil or something like that, but and there's reason for that. But as a most, the most part, we don't usually do that. So that's interesting nutritional medical information, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.